Hey y'all, and welcome to another reading vlog. Today is May 20th, and sorry, there's dirt on my face when I look at my camera. Mangles, I want to finish Warbreaker, I want to finish Skyward, and I want to finish Aurora Arising. Those are my main goals this week. I'm gonna do what I gotta do to get as much of that done as possible. Ugh, because I don't know about the rest of my TBR, but those are the three that I want to get done. And everything else will either get pushed to next month or I'll just set it aside and stop stressing myself out because that's what's happening and I don't want to do that. That's something I really fight against with being a booktuber is to not let the pressure of TBRs or what I'm supposed to be reading stop me from having enjoyment in reading. And luckily, I'm enjoying these books. I am. I just haven't been in a real reading mood, and so then it doesn't matter what I'm reading. I'm not liking it. So, um, yeah, Skyward, I am really loving. It was a slow start for me because I don't really connect with Spin, the main character, um, Spenza. Um, but I'm really liking where it's going so far and there's going to be some found family, I think, and there's a crew being put together and I really like that. Also, you know, Aurora Rising, I said this, it's a lot like Skyward, um, in the fact that there's a crew being put together and people all have different attitudes and stuff like that. So we'll see, but yeah, just wanted to start out the week. There's also... I pulled out three other books from my TBR and I want to maybe do like a read a, uh, read a chapter challenge to see which one I want to do. One of them is Catching Fire, so I already know what the first chapter is like, but I want to see if that's a book that I would pick up and just kind of like read really fast because I would get through that book fairly quickly. Also, I have The Lovely War by Julie Berry and I wanted to read that for Romanceopoly this month. So I want to do that one. And then The Wicked Saints I was supposed to buddy read with some people. And I just don't know if I'll end up joining in on that because I don't want to rush through that book. And I don't think I'm going to finish it. So, yeah. That's where we're at with everything. So I'm going to go ahead and dive into these and I'll check in with you soon. Alright, checking back in. It's the same night. But I've made significant progress and I had to brag about myself a little. So, I finished Warbreaker, which I'd had 300 pages left of. Um, I really pushed through that, um, and I'm glad I did. I'm glad I read that. I was really close to DNFing that last week, but, I mean, so many people love all of Brandon Sanderson that I just had to finish it. And I, I was halfway through it already. I was like, it's stupid to DNF it now. Um... And I actually ended up liking it a lot. Like, the ending won me over quite a bit. So I was into that. Um, so, and I needed a break from some of my fantasy, which I do, I am planning to get through these this week. But I wanted to give myself something to alternate with. And so I actually started The Lovely War. That's what I decided to go with. The lighting is super sketch right now. Um, this is by Julie Berry. This is Aphrodite telling um, about two couples that she put together during World War I. It's really cool. The book starts off with Aphrodite and Ares are having an affair. And her husband, Hephaestus, catches them. And he is basically like going to take her before the gods of Olympus and have her be tried for adultery and instead she just somehow um like it wants to prove that nobody can love her because her being the goddess of love nobody can truly love her because she gives all of it away or something like that um which is a really interesting concept i really like that um so she decides to give them two examples both Ares and Hephaestus are in the room about two of the love stories that she's put together. So, sounds like a weird concept, but I am immediately in love with this. I'm like 40 pages in, I need to go to bed now, but I'm into it. The way it's written is really beautiful. 
um, because she it's 1942 when she's talking about but she's talking about 1917 and we've met the first couple who the gentleman James gentleman James is going to be deployed in a week and they meet at a dance hall and they decide that they can't help themselves and I'm I'm so into it but I'm scared because it's a war story and I don't like war stories but I bought this book because the cover was just absolutely gorgeous and here's something about me I don't know if I've shared before but I'm a big big fan of the armed forces um, I have quite a few gentlemen in my family as well as close friends of mine who are soldiers and so when I read things that are like real life war stories it's hard for me um, I don't watch movies really about war I can do like fantastical war where it's like fake but when it's like real war stories I can't really do it however this is promised like Aphrodite even says because like Ares her the man she's you know, the God that she's cheating with, he's like, get to the war part. I want to hear the war part of the story. And she's like, we're not going to be talking about the war. I'm talking about the love story. So hopefully that's what it's about. Because if there's too much like war in it, it won't be a fun time for me. But I'm totally into this book so far. We'll see how it goes. All right, that's enough. Hey guys, it's Thursday. We're not wrapping up just yet, but I got something kind of cool in the mail. <laughs> that was a surprise and I want to share it with you guys. So, um, about six months ago, I placed an order with Once Upon a Wick and then the owner had some personal issues and she was having trouble fulfilling orders and, you know, at first I was going to get a refund and then I was like, no, no, just whenever you get around to them, I still want the candles. And surprise, <laughs> I ordered these in November because I wanted them for Christmas presents and I can practically save them for a Christmas present again. But I wanted to share them. I'm not upset about this. It's fine. I, mean, I love helping um, uh, small business owners. I'm totally fine and I'm really excited to open these. So first off, um, it looks like there's a sample from, it says Clockwork and I think that's maybe like Clockwork princess or something let me smell it Ooh, that smells awesome it's like it's like a spicy smell but it's just a sampler so let's get into these it's actually one of my friends who I ordered this for it's her birthday this weekend so I'll be able to still give them to her so that's cool they're all wrapped really cool all right here we go Colors of the Wind. So this is a Pocahontas one. Oh my gosh. This is corn husk, pine, sunsweet berries, sycamore, and sunflower. Isn't that cool? Oh my gosh, this smells amazing. Yeah, I'm excited about this. I'm so happy they still came. I mean, stuff happens in life. And I hope that... You know, everything is going well for her now. I love candles. <gasps> Bravery. Sweet. Okay, so this is my Gryffindor candle. Um, this one is cedarwood, hazelnut, leather, and amber. Oh, my God. <laughs> this smells amazing. Oh, you can really smell the leather, which I love. So good. Mmm. I know I also have, I won't say what I have, we'll just open them. I got a couple Disney and a couple Harry Potter, so. Ooh, yeah. Here's Loyalty, Hufflepuff. This is Jasmine, Jasmine, Cardamom, Oranges, and Honey. Ooh. Ooh, this one's sticky. So cute. Yeah, I ordered five. Yep. 
Yes. Atlantica. Little Mermaid. I'm so excited. Sea salt, tonka bean, coral reef, and golden sand. These are all soy, by the way. Oh, I love ocean smells. That's why I picked this one. That one is amazing. And then one more. And I can't remember which one this one is. So I'm excited. Oh, wait, maybe I do know. Yes, okay. All right. Through the wardrobe. This is a line, the Witch in the Wardrobe one. I'm really excited. Chamomile tea, Turkish delights, and wintry woods. Oh my Christmas. That is so pretty. This one's sparkly. It's so fun. So yeah, these are my five candles that I got. They're so cool. So definitely worth the wait. Um, the next clip will be my weekly wrap up. So hi guys, it is Saturday morning. So time to wrap up this week. Um, ended up being a lot more productive than I expected to be, which is really exciting. Um, I was actually planning to do this tomorrow on Sunday, but this weekend's going to be so busy. It's Memorial weekend here in the States and I just don't know when I'll be filming things. So who knows, but I was actually really productive and I'm excited to tell you about it. So first off, um, I finished Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. I, ooh, have so many mixed feelings about this. It ends up being really positive. Um, I really enjoyed it. But again, this is the, like, you're about to see another one too, where it just took me a while to get into his book. And, you know, there's all the excuses I want to make. Like, part of it is I was listening to half of it on audio. And then that was taking too long because I didn't have as much time to listen to it. And I wasn't feeling drawn to that narrator so much. So I ended up picking up the physical copy and finishing the last half of this book. But I did really like the characters. I really loved, um, wow, Vasher, I think his name is. You know, and I won't talk anything about this one here really. You know, my wrap up will be up tomorrow or Wednesday. So you'll get to see more thoughts about it. But as always, like Brandon has such great endings. Like I feel that I will always push through his books, even though this one took me a month and a half to do because they're, they're just good contents. Glad I finally finished this book. It was really good. It was worth my time. It was great. Then next I finished Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. And this book was, um, like a book club pick that I read. Um, this one didn't take me quite as long as that one. Um, this is his new YA series. Um, the next one comes out in November and it's called Star Sight. And this is about Spenza who has been treated really poorly by the society and she wants to prove that she's the best flyer. So she goes about trying to get herself a ship and um, she doesn't know why, but her and her um, countrymen are being um, held back by this alien species called the Krell. And so she joins their um, air force basically to fight, fight against them. But her father was seen as a coward because he betrayed his group and um, ran away during a fight. And so she's been trying to live down that reputation her whole life. Again, Brandon Sanderson, characters. Now this one, the only reason this one took me longer is because I was reading this and Aurora Rising at the same time. And I'm still reading Aurora Rising because I had to put one aside because they're not the same, but a lot of aspects about it are the same. Like we're dealing with ships, we're dealing with space, we're dealing with alien races. And so even though they're not the same book, you know, completely different thing we're going against, it was just too much similarity. So I was like getting stuck between both of them. So I had to decide to put down Aurora Rising and like focus on this one. This book is so big, it like takes up half of my camera space. Um, I ended up giving this a 4.5 stars. It was really, it was really great. Again, I'll say more about it in my final wrap. Then, okay, I got a couple other things to talk about. Like I said, I started The Lovely War. I took the cover off because I also love this color. This is one of my favorite colors. 
Um, this book, I am 170 pages in. This is my focus, my main focus right now. I want to finish this one. Um, I'm actually pretty impressed that I'm getting into the rest of my TBR because it was a disaster halfway through the month. But I'm at that weird part where, like, I want to start my June books, but I'm not. And I'm going to try to wait because, as you'll see later this week, I'm participating in um, biblio games. And, like, your pages and books don't count until the first of the month. So I don't want to read them yet and then not count. So, anyway, Lovely War. This is by Julie Berry. This is about Aphrodite's, Aphrodite, Aphrodite, not Aphrodite's, that's weird. And she gets caught cheating on her husband with Ares, the god of war. And her husband is Hephaestus, the god of the forge, who like creates things. And so he puts her on trial for cheating. And she decides to explain to him how he doesn't really love her and why she's drawn to war, why love and war go hand in hand. And so she is telling us the story of during World War I, two different couples who... Um, she helped their love stories along and I'm really scared because it's a war story and I'm like, are they all going to make it out? I don't know because the two girls, they work for the volunteer corps, like keeping morale up and one of the gentlemen is an African American who is playing for the band in the army and the other young man is in the ground troops and he's going to the front. He's in the trenches right now. And I just am scared. I don't like reading war books. Um, it's not a genre I enjoy, but this is told with such an interesting twist because Aphrodite, Ares, Apollo, Hades, and Hephaestus are like all helping tell this story. And so instead of the book being from the points of view of the young people, it's from the points of view of the gods and like how they all had roles in these people's love story and it's really good it's really good then i finally started listening to genesis by brandon reichs i'm listening to this on scribd um i'm only like 50 pages in things have taken quite a turn from nemesis and i can't really talk about this because it's a sequel but I, it's hard to stay in so i try to make myself put it on whenever i'm in the car or whatever but I'll probably end up just like plowing through the book itself too, because that's what I do. And then just holding up my Kindle, because I don't want to bring up a picture of it. I started The Soul of the Sword, which I was lucky enough to get in E-Arc 4 from NetGalley. Um, I got to read The Shadow of the Fox. Um, this is by Julie Kagwa. Um, I got to read it last year it was like the first arc I got and it was for one of my favorite authors as a teenager she's not really my favorite anymore but I really enjoyed Shadow of the Fox and it left on a horrible cliffhanger so I just started reading that and this is my Kindle read so these are all the books that I have like been reading this week um it was a it was a good week for me I was pretty happy I finished up two that I'd been reading for a while and started some new ones so Anyway, thanks so much for watching this vlog. I put up new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and you can watch some more of them right now. Bye!